third book I'm going to talk about is called What's Worrying You? And I wrote this book to help children with the problem of worrying. Okay, um, and I basically think of a worry as an unhelpful thought that goes round and round in your head and it bothers you a lot. OK, um, and the weird thing about worrying is, is we tend to worry about things that might happen in the future. So we might be worried about something at school tomorrow or something that's happened in the past. Like, did we say the wrong thing in a certain situation? We don't often tend to worry about what's happening right now. We have different emotions for right now. So worrying is a very odd thing. It's like your head is being really mean to you and making you think about things that are really bothering you and it can be quite difficult to manage so that's what this book is about it gives you ideas for coping with worrying okay so if i give you an example of how it's set out so there's lots of different situations in this book that might a child might worry about you might worry about so for example when you get told off it's never nice to be told off so what the book does is it goes through how you might feel when you're told off. So it gives you some example emotions. So tearful, angry, guilty, embarrassed, in a panic, ashamed, misunderstood, shocked or annoyed. You might feel a bit of all of them. Um, and then it also gives you some suggestions of what you might be thinking after you've been told off. So, for example, it's not fair or I didn't mean to do it or but I only did it because dot dot dot. Or, I wasn't the only one, other people did it too. So it basically gives you kind of suggestions for what you might be thinking and feeling after you've been told off. And then on the second page, it gives you examples of the kind of things that might help you feel better about worrying about this particular situation. So for example, think about what you did. Did it harm anyone or any anything? And what could you do to put it right? Uh, do you need to say sorry to someone? This will probably make you and the other person feel better. Um, was the person who told you off having a bad day? This is sometimes why children get told off. It's not fair, but adults don't always get things right all of the time. Know that. Um, sometimes it helps if you explain exactly what happened and why you did what you did. It's best to do this when everyone's calm. So there's just some ideas of things that could help you in a situation where you've been told off, which is, is an uncomfortable situation. Another example is when you find something difficult. Now, we can't all be naturally talented and good at, and find everything easy. It's normal to be better at some things than others. So when we're doing something and we're finding it really, really difficult, we might feel frustrated, confused, irritated, disappointed, sad, obsessed or stressed. OK, and we might be thinking, why do other people seem to find this easy? It's not fair. I must be rubbish. It might make us feel quite bad about ourselves, which is a silly idea because none of, nobody's good at everything. I found it really hard last time, too. I really wish I found it easy. So... That's how you might be feeling and that's what you might be thinking. And then it gives you some ideas of what you can do. So try not to get cross or give up when things don't go right the first time. Sometimes you need to try really hard and do things um, to, to do things and to stay calm. So that frustration doesn't help. If you get really annoyed with not being able to do something, that's not going to help you focus and concentrate on trying to get it right finally. Um, don't forget everybody has things they are good at and things they're not so good at it's good to think about all the things you do well and celebrate your achievements but it's also okay not to be good at things um practicing things always helps you get better at them some things take a long time to get good at in fact it's more satisfying you have to take quite a lot of time and effort to get good at something and then you do get good at it that's more satisfying than something that actually doesn't take much effort at all and also ask for help there's usually somebody who can help you get better at something so there's lots of different situations in this book and you can look at all the art suggestions and they don't just apply to the situations in this book they can sometimes help with other situations that aren't in this book so that will hopefully help you with worrying 
So, the task that I decided to set you to do with worrying was I, came, I looked at some of the suggestions of what you can do when you're worried about something and I've put those on this sheet, okay, and they're just my suggestions, okay. There's lots of different things people can do to help with worrying, um, but what I decided to do with those was to draw a worry machine. So I've made it look like a bit of a nonsense machine. I don't think this would actually work as a machine, but it would work as a worry machine because it's made up. So what you would do is you put the worry in there and then I took some of those coping strategies or some of those coping plans or ideas of what you can do when you're worrying and I chose my favourite and I put them on different parts of the machine. So the idea is you put your worry in and then you try out these coping strategies or these ideas for how to deal with your worry so that at the end what comes out is calm juice. So I chose sit quietly and focus on breathing and imagining a calm green mist swirling around you. I chose picture the worry getting tiny and disappearing into the distance. I chose write down what you're worried about on a piece of paper and then screw it up. I wrote Think of a time in the future when you won't be worrying about this anymore. I wrote, think of another time when you worried and it turned out all to be fine in the end. Or search inside the body for where you're feeling the worry. Ask yourself if there's anything you can actually do to help sort out what it is you're worrying about. And I had some other suggestions and maybe another time because I've only blue tacked those on. I might think that they work for a different worry so I might move them about. But... What I'm suggesting is have a go at drawing a worry machine and you can either use my ideas for how to cope or how to manage worrying or you can make up some of your own.